Do you like talking about killers? No. We are going to talk about biggest killer in the world that is cancer. Millions of people die because of this disease. As much as trillions of dollars are spent on treatment and study of this deadly disease and it is mostly dreaded. That is why I told you that we are going to talk about a killer that too of this level. Nothing in the medical world is as dreaded as cancer. You can say that it is AIDS but not AIDS that much because cancer can happen to anybody okay and first of all we need to know that how many types of cancers can occur in body. If I have to use the term from A to Z, there are A to Z cancers from A, B, C, I can name as many cancers from every alphabet. There are so many cancers, but we are not going to get into that. We are going to see that what are the four different categories of the cancer. So first type of cancer is known as carcinoma. All right. Second type of cancer is known as sarcomas. Third is leukemia. And the last one is lymphoma. Now this categorization is done on the basis of different tissues of the body or if we see the body as a gross form, the gross categorization it is, okay. Not individual, individual organ can have its own cancer, like you can have a cancer of pancreas, you can have cancer of intestine, you can have cancer of lungs, you can have cancer of throats, you can have cancer of brain, you can have cancer of bones, what not. So if we talk about carcinoma, these are the cancers of skin, okay. Usually, if the skin is infested with cancerous growth, it would be covered under uh, carcinoma. And otherwise, if we have to see in the internal body, in the visceral organs, the linings of the organ, if they become cancerous, they will be categorized under carcinomas. The ne next type is sarcomas, where we have the cancer type that is usually going to infest the connective tissue different types of connective tissues. It could be bones, it could be cartilage and uh, muscles also could be included. The next type is leukemia. Now what is leukemia? Commonly called as blood cancer. But it goes and infects the bone marrow. That is why the people who suffer from bone marrow cancer or leukemia, their bone marrow is transplanted, uh, transplanted time after time. And the last one is lymphoma. This is the cancer of immune system. The word lymphoma would be telling you that we are going to deal with immune cells and immune system. So these are the four categories of the cancer. Apart from different types of cancers, as I told you, as many as... Uh, 50 cancers could be there, okay, in the human body. We are not talking about cancers everywhere. We are talking only about cancer in the human body. So you can make it out. I was quite right in calling it the most dreaded killer. Now, millions of people die because of this disease. It's having certain stages. If fortunate, the person can survive. But if the cancer has reached up to its own stubborn stages, then the person is bound to die, okay. Now, uh, we are going to talk about how cancer cells or what cancer does to our body. Cancer normally is a diseased condition where cells do not stop growing, okay. Now, one should be happy that if the growth is taking place, our body will be benefited, that is not the case. First thing you have to remember is that there is a condition in normal cells that is known as contact inhibition. Cancer cells do not have this contact inhibition. First thing that you have to remember. Now what is this contact inhibition? Supposedly you have this cell, a single cell. It is going to affect the growth of other cells around it. Of course the cell will not be solitary inside the body. When the cell is losing its ability of contact inhibition, then it becomes cancerous. Now, what is this contact inhibition? Supposedly, we are talking about this cell. This cell has its position in the body. It is not going to allow this cell or this cell or this cell or this cell or this one or whichever we are taking into consideration to grow non-stop. 
but supposedly it loses that ability of contact inhibition it would grow itself also non stop and the others would also get infected with that that is what cancer cells do and because of that the cells start growing non stop without any restriction okay that leads to condition known as tumor now every tumor is not a cancer okay every tumor cannot be causing cancer you got my point what i was trying to tell you that what contact inhibition is you can draw a parallel like supposedly you have a position fixed like you have your house it is having boundaries around it and because you have your own boundaries you have rules and uh, strict restrictions that is why your neighbor does not come and enter into your house he is also bound in his own boundaries that is contact inhibition but supposedly this inherent property is gone you start spreading out okay you start invading others it's like invader cells invading ability has come and because of that they are going to take all the nutrition they are going to divide continuously okay the cell does not divide and does not expand much because there is contact inhibition other is going to put pressure that you cannot come in our territory but if the contact inhibition is gone it is going to expand it is going to increase in number and that would cause cancer but before that there are stages now what are those stages as i told you when the cell loses its ability of contact inhibition it starts multiplying non stop that multiplication leads to formation of lump of cells known as tumor now this tumor could be of two types one is benign and other is malignant now these are two english words benign is something docile which is quiet and malignant is one who creates a lot of pandemonium and so is in the case of tumor that benign tumors are those tumors where the cell has lost contact inhibition they are going to stay over there certainly they would grow in size but they are not going to go certain places away from that site then the tumor is benign but supposedly it is in the blood stream and the tumorous cells which have lost the contact inhibition they are taken to other site by the blood stream wherever they are going to reach they are going to make sure that that contact inhibition or the tumorous property is spreading out and that leads to a condition known as malignant okay malignant this malignant tumor leads to a condition known as cancer okay now you are infected with a killer if the tumor has reached a stage which is malignant okay so we have come across that there is a contact inhibition that leads to formation of tumor where the cells are growing without any restriction okay once they have grown they could be growing at that particular space without growing to certain places and if that is the condition then it would be benign tumor if the cells go from one place to another that is malignant tumor and that becomes cancer and once you have been infected with cancer the cancer has overtaken your body now you have to be diagnosed with what cancer is causing and you need to be diagnosed first of all for the disease for the treatments that would follow so this is the basic understanding of what cancer does to our body the next lesson we are going to see what would be the genetic basis for the cause of cancer as i told you there are so many types of cancers what would be the various causes which would be causing this disease that we will see in the next lesson